Understanding, dull shine. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into a rather intriguing pair of words, dull shine. At first glance, these words might seem contradictory, but together, they paint a very specific picture. Let's explore this interesting phrase and its use in the English language. First, let's break down the two words individually. Dull, this adjective often describes something that is lacking brightness or luster. It can be used to describe colors, surfaces, or even emotions and events. For instance, a gray sky might be described as dull, or a boring party could be called a dull event. Shine, this noun or verb refers to a bright light or luster, something that shines emits or reflects light. For instance, the sun shines, and a polished surface can also shine. When you combine dull and shine together, it might seem like a contradiction. How can something shine and be dull at the same time? But that's the beauty of the English language. Dull shine describes a luster that is subdued or muted. It's not a bright, glaring shine, but rather a soft, gentle glow. Think of it as the difference between the bright shine of a newly minted coin and the softer gleam of an old, well-used one. Examples. The old wooden table had a dull shine after years of use. Her hair wasn't glossy, but it had a dull shine that made it look healthy. Let's see some examples to understand how this phrase can be used in different contexts. 1. The vintage leather jacket had a dull shine, showing its age but also its quality. 2. After polishing the old silverware, it still only had a dull shine, but it looked much better. 3. The moon cast a dull shine over the water, creating a beautiful, serene landscape. And there you have it. The phrase, dull shine, is a great example of how English can use seemingly opposite words to describe something very specific. We hope you found this video enlightening, with maybe just a dull shine of new knowledge. Keep exploring the language, and we'll be here to guide you along the way.